Okay, uh, let's take a dip in Rocky's Aquarium, otherwise known as Jarl Cove, and see if we can find some little fish. You know it's uh, summertime when the uh, Shiner Perch return to Jarl Cove. Let's see if I can get a couple shots of them. You can just barely see them in the distance there. They will be moving closer, don't worry. And I got a little bit more than I bargained for. Where are you little guys? There they come. Now there's somebody in there way in the back who is not a Shiner Perch. Where are you? They, they will move closer. Now here they are. This There are a couple of juvenile salmon in there probably looking for a baby Shiner Perch. There you can see the juvenile salmon on the right hand side of the screen. They were probably about five inches at the very most. Now here coming up is something totally unexpected. Here come the perch again and there's a school of juvenile salmon cruising underneath them and you can just barely see them on the bottom of the screen when these guys pass by again. Here they come and here come the juvenile salmon cruising underneath them. There they are. This is the way salmon hunt. They cruise underneath schools of bait fish and they were probably hoping to pick off some newborn juvenile perch which uh, brings up the uh, subject of how the perch breed. Now, all, th all four species of Puget Sound sea perch are placental fish. Just like mammals they mate and give birth to live young. But that's where the similarities stop. Once the kids are out, they're on their own. And the little bitty ju juvenile perch are eaten by everything under the sun, or everything in the sound. They're a very important bait fish. They breed all year round, even during the winter when they retreat to the deeper water. Now under the pier is their favorite habitat, because salmon won't go under there. They, salmon don't like to go under piers. So they hang out under there. Kind of a, kind of a pretty little fish. The other three species of sea perch hang about in the same habitat and they grow much larger and are really quite good to eat. These guys are really a lot of them in today. The other three are the uh, blue perch, the pile perch, and the barred sea perch. Uh, the barred is found mainly in the surf out on the coast. They live right in the surf zone. You can catch them by surf casting. Now, uh, we're going to change here, and here comes another school of juvenile salmon. Now, these are teeny tiny. <clears throat> I mean, these guys are like two inches long. Maybe some of them might go to three. They're obviously fresh out of the creek, and they hang around in the shallow water close to the beach and are one of the favorite targets of the uh, kingfishers. When you see kingfishers diving in the water out of overhanging trees, this is normally what they're catching. And uh, they stay in there also because the bigger salmon that are out in the open water, even those five inchers that we saw earlier, are not above eating their own kind. And this is a common trait amongst all salmon and trout. A cannibalistic bugger. We get our younger relatives. Nummy, eat them up. Yum, yum, eat them up. So, you little fellas, you know, have a good journey out to sea when you get a little bit bigger and uh, come back and uh, see me in two to three years. And I will uh, invite you over to the place for dinner. Nummy. By the way, I think these are the coho. That's mainly what we have down in this area. That's about it from Jarl Cove for this little session. Good shoot.